Hi, I'm Chess, and you're watching Chess's Crazy Creations. To start this project, you're going to need a foam head and some tool. Next, I'm a big fan of fishing line, and I'm going to go ahead and use this for the next step. So it's hard to see, but I cut a hefty amount of fishing line. Now, I don't want to damage my head, so I'm going to be using some tape. But if you didn't want to do that, you could use a screw that you, a hook that you screw in and reinforce it with some glue. I've torn off some white athletic tape because it'll blend in nicely and I'll be using that. So I've taken the fishing line and run it along the seam here and then placed the athletic tape on top and press firmly to reinforce it. This is two yards of tool that I'll be using for this next step. So next I'm gonna take approximately the center of my tool and lay it over the top of the ghost and fluff it out here so I can get underneath of it still. Then I'm gonna go find the end of one of the pieces of fish line and I'm going to thread it through the tool here around the center so it hangs up nicely. And then I'm gonna repeat this on the other side. I'm ready to hang my ghost up and I'm going to go ahead and find the end of my ghost two pieces of fish line and I'm going to go ahead and give it a little knot so that I can hang it like so. For this ghost I'll be using an LED light, a round plastic party tablecloth, and a plastic pumpkin. So I've placed batteries in the light. You can see that they're working and now I'm going to place them into the bucket and keep in mind that you're going to need access to that down the road. Next, I've opened my circle tablecloth, and a circle tablecloth is important because it's nice and round and the shape is already formed. Now you could cut zigzags at the bottom if you like, but just you could leave it as is, and we're gonna be using the center of it next. So if you can remove this handle easily, you could keep using this handle to help you down the road with, with hanging it, but if it doesn't, you're gonna to have to cut it off and then you'll be back to fishing line. So I was able to pull this handle out and so I'll be able to use this handle and then stick it back inside. So this is the center of the pumpkin or of the tablecloth and now I have got to utilize where these holes are to help me with the next step. So next all I need to do is poke a hole or cut a small hole on either side where those holes are for the handle. So what I did was pulled the handle through and over and stuck it through and then got it back in the bucket. So now I'll be able to hang it with this handle. We'll be using a flour sack towel and a small skeleton, both from the dollar store. So I'm opening up the flour sack dish towel and I'm finding the center. So I'm going to cut the top or the center of this dish towel so I can make a small hole for the skeleton to go through. So I've taken the elastic from the skeleton and threaded it through the hole so that I can hang it from that. So I can either leave this elastic on or trade it out for um, some fishing line. It's really up to you and it depends upon where you're gonna hang it. My skeleton ghost is now ready to be hung up so let's go check it out. For this project, you're going to need a flower sack dish towel, a tea light candle, and a terrarium planter, all from the dollar store. I'm gonna start with the terrarium and place my tea light in there for later. Now I will need access to that at some point. Now we're gonna set this aside, move to the flower sack towel, open it up and find the center now that I have found the center, I'm going to go ahead and cut a slit big enough to get that terrarium 
loop through. Oh, and then you'll be able to just pop it through like that. I'm gonna flip it over. This will be what we hang it from right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and use some fishing line to help hang it from. Now let's go hang up the ghosts. So I've taken my first ghost and I'm hanging it right here by my front door. I've hung my skeleton ghost on the tree branch. So I needed a little more length, so I hung some fish line from up there and now I'm gonna tie it to my other ghost. So the string is here and it's hanging from that. And again, this all won't show at night, but the light will turn on in the evening. So this ghost I'm gonna hang on my front porch on my solar chandelier. And this is just the start of my decorations for Halloween. As kids come up my walkway, they'll see my first light up ghost and you'll see my lanterns will glow and those are from lights.com. You can find the link for those in my description. You'll also see my skeleton ghost as well as my styrofoam head ghost. And as they continue up, they'll also see my light up ghost here as well as my porch will be lit up and glowing. Now let's take a look at everything in the evening. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.